or the number from your new director. <laughs> Years have been full of them. The 20th century brought homes with features that would baffle today's tech-savvy kids. Imagine a time before touchscreens and instant connectivity, when entertainment and chores took a different form. This demonstration model to dial our number. From the quirky gadgets of the 20th century to once trendy design elements like shag carpets, these old home features may seem like relics from a bygone era. Yet, they were the building blocks that paved the way for the modern comforts we enjoy today. Join us as we embark on a journey to uncover 20 old home features kids today won't believe existed. In the 1970s, living rooms were like treasure troves with this cool feature called conversation pits. Imagine sunken seating areas in the middle of your living space. Forming a cozy nook where all the family magic happens. It wasn't just furniture, it was a whole experience. These pits weren't just about sitting, diving into conversations, and creating memories. It's like having a secret hideout in your own home. Picture this. You and your pals sinking into those comfy seats, surrounded by groovy vibes and maybe a lava lamp. It was the ultimate chill zone. They weren't laughing at you, Laurie. Oh, yes, they were. Today's kids might scratch their heads wondering why we didn't just stick to regular sofas. But those conversation pits were a bold statement that screamed, this is where the real talks happen. It was a slice of the past. Man, it was groovy. Yes, but just for a minute. Just a minute. During the vibrant decades of the 1960s and 1970s, kitchens served a dual purpose as both a culinary space and a visual spectacle, characterized by lively colors particularly the fashionable avocado green appliances. Imagine your blender, toaster, and even your fridge rocking this funky hue. It wasn't just a color, it was a lifestyle. What? Well, how do you do? Well, I'm so glad. Cooking in an avocado green kitchen was like stepping into a psychedelic dream. Today's kiddos might raise an eyebrow, but it was excellent back then. Picture making your morning toast while surrounded by the coolest green gadgets. These appliances weren't just about function, they were a statement, a way to show off your flair for the fashionable. All right, friends, gather right in. And I want you to festoon your gazing up. It's like your kitchen was dressed in bell bottoms and dancing to disco beats. So, next time you're sipping your smoothie from a stainless steel blender, take a moment to appreciate the bygone days of avocado green awesomeness. Flashback to the golden era of the 1950s through the 1980s, when homes weren't just places to live, but mini entertainment hubs with a twist built in home bars. These swanky setups weren't your ordinary drink corners. They were sleek and stylish, with chic seating arrangements that screamed sophistication. Imagine entering a friend's house and being greeted by the warmth of hospitality and the allure of a built in bar, ready to whip up your favorite concoction. It was the epitome of home entertainment, a hidden gem waiting to be unveiled. These bars were more than just shelves of spirits. They were conversation starters, where tales were shared and laughter echoed. In today's world of portable bars and trendy lounges, it's almost like a trip down memory lane to picture homes boasting these built-in treasures. Mears. Glory Mears. Let's set the time machine to the vibrant years spanning the 1950s to the 1980s, where ceilings weren't just surfaces. They were textured masterpieces, often resembling fluffy popcorn. Yes, you heard it right. Popcorn ceilings were the in thing, bringing a whole new dimension to interior design. Picture lounging in your living room, gazing up at a ceiling that's not just flat and boring, but has a playful texture reminiscent of everyone's favorite movie snack. Anyway, it wasn't just a design choice, but a statement, adding a dash of character to every room. Popcorn ceilings weren't just about visual appeal, they had a tactile charm, too. Back in the 1960s and 1970s, homes were rocking a flooring trend that would make today's kids do a double take. Shag carpeting. Imagine sinking your toes into long, fluffy carpet strands that practically hugged your feet. It wasn't just a flooring choice, it was a cozy experience like walking on a cloud. Very well, then. 
Your grandparents' homes might have been decked out in this plush wonder, giving every step a touch of luxury and warmth. Picture it. Vibrant colors and wild patterns turning living rooms into a psychedelic playground. It was the era of groovy vibes, and shag carpets were the undisputed kings of cool. Built-in stain resistors. No static shocks. Kids today might think it's straight out of a retro movie, but for those who remember, it was a fuzzy, fabulous reality. In the 1950s and 1960s, innovative kitchen designers unveiled a revolutionary concept. Pull-down kitchen cabinets. Picture having a practical magic trick right in the heart of your home. These nifty cabinets weren't just your ordinary storage spaces, they were like secret agents with a mission to make your life easier. Better think it over, because where are you going to be in the next few years? You'll wind up not that where. Picture this. Reaching for your favorite snacks or cookware stashed in high-up hideaways without doing the precarious balancing act. It's like having your very own kitchen superhero cape. These retractable wonders weren't just about convenience, they were a trend-setting revolution. No more tiptoeing or playing acrobat to grab that elusive mixing bowl. The 50s and 60s were all about making kitchens more accessible and stylish. So, hats off to the brilliant minds who turned cabinets into superheroes, bringing ease and flair to our culinary adventures. Remember those classic rotary dial phones from the 1950s to the 1980s? You know, the ones where you had to spin that circular dial to call someone. It was like a little time-traveling adventure every time you made a call. You gotta do something, Miss Mason. You gotta do something. There were no buttons or touchscreens. Just the satisfying clickety-clack of the dial as you dialed each digit. Picture this. You're sitting by the phone, slowly turning the dial to reach your friend or family member. It was a hands-on experience, literally. Simple. Uh, when I asked you to build me a wall, I was wrong. There was something oddly charming about the whole process, a tactile connection to communication. It's a far cry from our sleek smartphones today, but those rotary phones were the OGs of the calling game. Such were the good old days when dialing a number was a workout for your fingers. Travel back to the 1960s and 1970s when wood paneling ruled the home decor scene. Imagine stepping into a living room where the walls weren't just painted, but adorned with warm, earthy wood panels. It wasn't just a trend, it was a lifestyle. Who represents the world of today. These panels weren't just walls, but a rustic hug for your home. Think about the coziness and charm they added, like bringing the outdoors inside. The trend wasn't just about design, but about creating a snug haven. Can't you just picture it? The gentle touch of wood and the cozy ambiance were like living in a cabin right in the heart of suburbia. So next time you're in a modern space, take a moment to appreciate the vintage warmth that those wood-paneled walls used to bring to homes. It was like wrapping your living space in a timeless wooden embrace. Back in the 70s and 80s, waterbeds were all the rage. You have a water-filled bed, swaying gently like an incredible wave. People thought they were the hippest, most innovative way to catch some sleep. But here's the scoop nowadays, they're like the old-school rock stars who've taken a back seat. Yes, waterbeds aren't stealing the spotlight anymore. The world has moved on, and now we have fancy memory foam and high-tech mattresses. It's like saying goodbye to your favorite retro tunes, a bit nostalgic, but hey, progress is the name of the game. This is time that Huffy Jane's gone just too far. So, if you ever slept on a waterbed, you were part of a wild sleep revolution. Now, though, it's a different story in the snooze world. The swinging 60s to the rad 80s. An era where homes weren't just houses, but groovy expressions of style. Imagine walls decked out in garish wallpaper bursting with bold and vibrant patterns. It was like living in a kaleidoscope, man. The colors were so out there that you'd need sunglasses to chill in the living room. Every home was a canvas reflecting the spirit of the times, dazzling, daring, and far out. It was the age of avocado greens, psychedelic swirls, and geometric wonders. Your home wasn't just a crib, it was a statement. You see? Now is the time to... But, you know, trends change. Nowadays, it's all about minimalism. Still, those wild wallpapers were like time machines, taking us back to a time when more was more, and subtlety was so last decade. 
Step into the 1950s to 1970s kitchens, and you'll likely find a practical trend that bursts with vibrant charm. For mica countertops, these surfaces weren't just any old kitchen feature, they were the go-to choice for many households. Imagine a burst of colors greeting you as you enter the kitchen. That was the magic of Formica. These countertops were like the superheroes of durability. Well, my practice... Oh, 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 oh. Well, I mean, if your cases are more interesting than mine... I was... Standing up to the hustle and bustle of kitchen life with flair. Families gathered around, creating delicious meals on these sturdy and lively surfaces. Formica wasn't just a practical option, it was a style statement. Ken, I know where I can get you some lovely odd chairs, very functional. Oh. The choice of colors reflected the vitality of the times. A pop of red, a splash of blue, turning the kitchen into a canvas of joy. So when you think of Formica countertops, think of more than just a kitchen surface. Think of a vibrant era captured in every countertop. Traveling back to the 1950s to 1980s, our living rooms were adorned with the iconic tube TVs, those colossal entertainers with rabbit ear antennas. Imagine these mammoth televisions commanding attention as the undisputed monarchs of home amusement. Why, it's a very cheery room. They were like the epicenter of family gatherings, hosting memorable movie nights and captivating shows. The antennas, resembling curious rabbit ears, added a touch of whimsy to the whole setup. Adjusting them was like tuning into a secret frequency of excitement, with each tweak promising a clearer view of the entertainment magic. The same train that we took today. Those were the golden years when these robust tube TVs dominated our leisure spaces, creating an era of shared joy and leaving us with a treasury of cherished moments. Picture stepping into a home during the swinging 1960s and 1970s, you'd likely encounter a nifty feature, built-in intercom systems. These weren't just gadgets, they were like the secret agents of communication between rooms. Okay. But I wasn't expecting to meet him. Each home was equipped with this futuristic marvel, turning mundane conversations into a sci-fi experience. With a button push, families could magically connect from the kitchen to the bedroom or the living room, creating a symphony of voices zipping through the house. It was like having your command center minus the elaborate gadgets. Inspector, and if I can put this thief in your hands. You These intercoms weren't just functional, they added a touch of sophistication and intrigue to daily life. They were the original smart home feature, connecting spaces and people in a way that felt straight out of a vintage James Bond movie. Imagine entering a bathroom straight out of the vibrant 1950s or 1960s and you'll likely encounter a design gem, the clamshell bathroom sink. These weren't your ordinary sinks, they were the trend-setting showstoppers of their time. With an ingenious design, these sinks boasted a built-in countertop seamlessly embracing the sink basin. It was like having a mini oasis of style right in your bathroom. Really? These sink's contours resembled a clamshell's elegant curves, adding a touch of sophistication to the daily ritual of washing up. It wasn't just a sink, it was a statement, a piece of functional art that transformed hand-washing into a delightful experience. That is why I've chosen my own profession, or rather, created it. These clamshell sinks weren't just fixtures, they epitomized mid-century chic, leaving a timeless mark on bathroom aesthetics. Back in the 1950s to the 1980s, these nifty gadgets called wall-mounted bottle openers were like the unsung heroes of kitchens and bars. Picture this. You walk into a retro-cool kitchen or a laid-back bar, and there it is, right on the wall, the magical device that turns your beverage-opening struggle into a breeze. So, It's like having your superhero dedicated to one noble mission, popping those bottle caps off with style. Think of it as a time-traveling gadget that bridged the gap between grabbing a drink and wrestling with stubborn bottle tops. These openers were the unsung MVPs, quietly waiting to save the day. You had my note? Making opening a cold one an effortless and satisfying experience. They were more than just tools. They were the cool sidekicks in the beverage world, hanging around, ready to add a touch of retro charm to your drink time adventures. In the past, we had this nifty gadget called a pull-out ironing board. Picture this, 
You're in the 1950s to 1980s. Your clothes need a quick spruce up and voila. You don't have to wrestle with a bulky ironing board. Nope. Ours was a space-saving marvel tucked away in the wall or a cabinet. It's like magic. Just pull it out, press your clothes, and slide it back in when you're done. Yes, pray take a seat. There is no need for a dedicated ironing board to take up precious space. Imagine the convenience. Kids today with their fancy gadgets might find it hard to believe such a fantastic and practical thing existed. It's like a blast from the past where simplicity and clever ideas ruled the roost. I deduce that your majesty became entangled with... Back in the 1950s to the 1980s, houses were like secret agents with a nifty trick up their sleeves. Laundry chutes. Picture this. You're done rocking your stylish 50s polka dot dress or groovy 80s jumpsuit. And instead of lugging that laundry basket like a weightlifting champ, you casually open a secret trapdoor in your home. Whoosh! Your clothes embark on a thrilling journey through the mysterious laundry chute, making a grand escape to the laundry room. These ingenious chutes weren't just for show. That is the lady. They were like the VIP pass for your dirty laundry. No more tedious trips down the stairs or awkward elevator rides with your laundry buddy. It was the ultimate convenience, a household superhero saving the day one laundry load at a time. So next time you think about laundry, imagine the bygone era of secret passages and laundry chutes. Because every home deserves a touch of spy-level sophistication. The swinging 50s and the groovy 60s were an era not just about poodle skirts and flower power, but also about a rather unusual home accessory bomb shelters. Why? Well, blame it on the Cold War jitters. Back then, it wasn't all peace signs and jukebox tunes. There was an ever-present fear of potential conflicts. So what did homeowners do? They transformed their humble abodes into fortresses of safety. These weren't your typical basements. They were secret sanctuaries, ready to shield families from impending doom. Even. It was like having a superhero hideout right beneath your living room. Imagine a cozy fallout spot where families could ride out the storm of uncertainty. Sure, it sounds like a plot from a retro sci-fi flick, but these home bomb shelters were the real deal. A tangible manifestation of an anxious era reminding us that even in the face of fear, homes could become havens of hope. Let's step into the cozy time capsule of the 1950s to the 1970s, where homes were adorned with the warm embrace of wood-burning stoves. These weren't just your ordinary heaters. They were the heart and soul of living spaces, radiating warmth and charm. Hi, Imagine coming home to the comforting crackle of burning wood, the sweet scent of timber dancing in the air. These stoves weren't just heat providers, they were storytellers recounting tales of toasty evenings and shared laughter. For his own sister's happiness. It was the era when a simple stove wasn't just a piece of furniture, but a captivating centerpiece, drawing families together like moths to a flame. In those days, these stoves weren't relegated to some forgotten corner. They took center stage, basking in the limelight as the focal point of living rooms. Picture families huddled around, toasting marshmallows or simply reveling in the warmth, making memories in the amber glow. The stolen papers were in the very room with me all the time. Sure, we've got our modern heating marvels now, but there's something undeniably nostalgic about the simplicity of a wood-burning stove. So, the next time you stumble upon a vintage stove, take a moment to appreciate its dual role as a heat magician and a timeless storyteller in the grand theater of home. Envision the period from the 1950s to the 1970s, characterized by dynamic social changes, an era when homes had a secret weapon against the ever-mounting piles of garbage, the built-in incinerator, a convenience that's now just a memory of the past. These weren't your run-of-the-mill trash bins, but mini fire-breathing dragons in your kitchen or backyard. Imagine tossing your daily refuse into this magical contraption, pressing a button, and watching it all disappear in a puff of smoke. Bam. No more dealing with the stinky aftermath of garbage day. In those days, homes weren't just shelters. They were equipped with futuristic garbage solutions. The incinerator wasn't just a disposal unit. It was the hero that saved households from the eternal battle against trash overflow. 
So the next time you ponder the mysteries of household conveniences, tip your hat to the incinerators of yore. The unsung heroes of a time when garbage disposal was nothing short of a magical act.